25th of February 2013. Close your eyes and relax the whole body and mind. Our mind and body is just created to the truth of all the created truth is to use only, to experience only, to do only, to know only. We must try to use our mind and body to be using only, without attachment. No one is using, unless your mind and body. The truth is ever new impermanent nature. We are using impermanent nature because of wrong understanding. We don't know about impermanent nature. If we can use the created truth in the right way, using only understanding about the impermanent nature will appear. We know the mind, we know the body, it is the knowing of our own intelligence. When we use our intelligence, there is misunderstanding of something. We must try to remove the idea of someone or something when we use our intelligence. Habitually, we are using our intelligence with the idea of someone or something. That's why knowing and not knowing are also we think as something. One knowing after another is happening in the mind, but we misunderstand as something. If not knowing happen, we misunderstand as something. That is, we are using the created truth in the wrong way, what we must do is to be able to use the created truth in the right way, using only. To practice meditation, we have to use the created truth. In our daily life, we have to use the created truth. Whenever we use the created truth, there is wrong understanding. What we must try to do is to remove wrong understanding in using the created truth. Wrong understanding means a waza. Right understanding is waza. When we use our mind and body, we think it is real. We think it is as something we owe. That is wrong understanding. Because we think it is real. We take care of our mind and body. We take care of our life. We must try to take care of the truth to use only. Not to reject, not to attach. All of the good deeds, meditation is the greatest. To be free from wrong understanding, meditation is necessary. The aim of meditation must be to be free from wrong understanding and attachment. Don't think about yourself. Just think about right understanding. Knowing wrong understanding as wrong understanding is right understanding. To practice meditation, we must use our mind and body. We must choose one method. We must choose one place. We must choose one master at one time. In doing so, we must try to be using only. Whatever happened, we must try to be experiencing only. All are just created to. We must not think as reality. 
that may be knowing or not knowing. If there's understanding, you must try to be knowing only. If there's no understanding, you must try to detach to not understanding. In this way, not knowing will be just not knowing only. Trying to detach to all the created truth. If there is wrong understanding, there will be attachment. Don't let wrong understanding to involve in your practice. What kind of yogi you are is not important. What kind of method you are practicing is also not important. If you think it is important, it is because of wrong understanding. All kinds of yogis are to use only. All kinds of methods are also to use only. Whatever symbol or strength experience are also to experience only. If there is wrong understanding, there will be attachment to whatever happened. Unless your mind and body, right understanding is also to use only. Wrong understanding is also to use only. What we must do is to be able to use in the right way, using only or using with attachment are also to experience only. Don't forget right understanding and trying to abandon all kinds of grasping habits. There is grasping to not understanding. It is because of wrong understanding. Grasping to the method is also because of wrong understanding. If you are not grasping some understanding, it is easy to use right understanding. Because of we are grasping a lot of understanding, it is difficult to use right understanding. Using right understanding can solve all grasping problems. Not to reject, not to attach, using only, doing only, experiencing only, Knowing only is the truth of all the created truth. If we forget that truth, we are using the created truth with wrong understanding. The idea of someone or something appears because of wrong understanding. In fact, the truth is ever new impermanent nature. Not something, not someone. Just impermanent process, one after another. The process is very good. If there is strong attachment, we cannot understand the impermanent nature, which is original truth. Because of not knowing the real original truth, we misunderstand created truth as original truth. Unless your mind and body be mindful to realize mind and body, be mindful to right understanding, to use only, to experience only. Buddha also use various explanation to understand the original truth. The result of getting enlightenment is important. When we practice meditation, just pay attention to be free from wrong understanding and attachment. Trying to use the method to be using only. If you have attachment 
to the method we are using, there will not be right understanding. Because of wrong understanding, greater truth is important. If there is right understanding, all the created truth are to use only, not to reject, not to attach. If you are not grasping to the method you are using, it is not difficult to use right understanding, to pay attention to right understanding. We are not used to pay attention to right understanding. Besides, we have strong attachment to the method we are using. That's why it is difficult to pay attention to right understanding. But there is no other way. We must try to pay attention. It is difficult or not. If we are not paying attention to right understanding, we will pay attention only to the Creator truth. Right understanding is true of the Creator truth. Whatever we are in the mind and in the body are just Creator truth. Don't let your mind to pay attention to the Creator truth. Just pay attention only to right understanding. If you are paying attention to the Creator truth, there will always be wrong understanding and attachment. If you use your mind to pay attention to right understanding, you will have detachment power to the Creator truth. We cannot stop thinking about that. It is because of attachment. We are able not to think about right understanding all the time. That's why there are a lot of attachment in our mind. To solve that problem, we must think about right understanding as much as we can. If you love right understanding, the power of right understanding is detachment to the created truth. The more you pay attention to right understanding, the detachment power will be more and more stronger. We are always thinking about ourselves because of attachment to ourselves. We are unable not to think about our family or our business. It is because of attachment. Instead of thinking about business or family, just think about right understanding. In this way, you will be able to detach to yourself, to your family and to your business. In fact, attachment is making our mind into travel. Our family is at home, but attachment is in the mind. If there is no attachment, there will be no problem in the mind. Because we misunderstand our mind as something we own, that's why there is attachment to our mind and whatever concern with our mind. Because of attachment, our mind is not free, not clean and clear. If you can see your mind, you will know everyone in your mind, everything in your mind, every time and every place in your mind. Our mind is grasping all the created truth in the mind. What we must do is to abandon everything from our mind to be clean, clear and stable mind. 
not to forget the origin, not to forget the right understanding is necessary. To use only, even our mind is to use only. Not to misunderstand as something. Because of attachment, our mind will be angry or greedy or happy. All are to experience only. Must not think as reality. We need to remember right understanding all the time. Try not to lose right understanding. Not to lose right understanding. You must have courage to lose everything, even your life. You must try to love right understanding more than your life. In fact, right understanding is more valuable than our life because of wrong understanding. We think. Our life is important. Knowing of we human beings are copying from each other. That's why we are not much different from each other. But we misunderstand. I am the only one. The others are not I. It is wrong understanding. Everyone is misunderstanding like this, but because of wrong understanding, we cannot understand the truth. The more you love yourself, the more you take care of yourself. Wrong understanding and attachment will be stronger and stronger. The more you love. Right understanding, wrong understanding, and attachment will be lesser and lesser. We need to change our mental action. Usually, we pay attention only to the created truth. We don't know about the original truth. Trying not to forget right understanding is the key to understand the original truth. Relax your mind and body. Just try to be using only in every time, in every way. Time and place are also to use only. We must use our life, time and place all the time. We must do physical aura and mental action. All the time. What we must try is to abandon wrong understanding and attachment we are using. To be doing only, using only, experiencing only, knowing only. There must be no wrong understanding and attachment. Whatever we do, not to reject, not to attach, to do only, to use only, to experience only. It may be difficult to practice by yourself, but it is easy if you can. If you can take the help I am giving, it is not difficult. Trying to detach to the cause we are doing. Trying to detach to the result what we experience. If you cannot detach to whatever happened, you may think it is important. If you cannot detach to yourself, you may think you are important. Because of attachment, there is always 
I or you in our mind. If we can detach, there will be no I, no you. Thinking about ourself is also because of attachment. If there is detachment, no need to think about ourself. Right understanding is important to be free from wrong understanding and attachment. Who we are is not important. How we practice is also not important. What happened or what experience to us is also not important. How long it takes is also not important. If we are using right understanding, we can be free from wrong understanding and attachment. Because of wrong understanding, we do not understand like this. That's why to remove wrong understanding, we need to understand like this. There will be a lot of practice in meditation. Some may be easy and some may be difficult to practice. When you face with difficult practice, you must try to detach to easy practice. If you have strong attachment in your normal practice, you cannot change your practice. Grasping use is wrong. Usually we like what we understand. That's why strong attachment in understanding by using what we do not understand, trying to detach to what we understand. All are created to, to use only. We must try to be able to use in the right way without rejecting and without attaching. Don't think about your desire. Just do what you should do. If you think about your desire, you are practicing with I. Now you have chance to practice like this. That's why trying to follow to practice like this. In this way you will be able to detach to what you want to do. If you do not understand, trying to detach to not understanding. If you understand, trying to detach to understanding. You must try to be experiencing only without attachment to whatever appears. In our daily life, when we when we read, when we think, we must try to use right understanding. If there is wrong understanding, there will be attachment. If we accept attachment to happen, our practice will not be affected. To appear original wisdom, which know about the original truth, we must try not to have an attachment for a period of time. The chain is over now. Any question? Especially this idea of meditation is like 
this is my path. This bus path is green. And this light is this my light. And I try to and this idea I, my life, my body, my mind, my teacher. So, so my thing is to just listen to your teaching and be my people to learn more and to do a task of another and to do it in my education. If we stay in the society, there will always be misunderstanding of I. That's why we need to contact with Buddha and his teaching all the time. Besides, we need to, to stay away from society if we can. Because of, because of this wrong understanding, that's why Dealing with lay people can cause wrong understanding more and more stronger. That's why we must spend our time with Buddha and his teaching. In this way, misunderstanding of I will be weaker and weaker. Don't think Temporarily, you must try to di- dis- to disconnect with society. If there is no raw understanding, you can deal with everyone. Because there is no raw understanding, you should you should not deal with other people like you. Just pay attention only to Buddha and his teaching. It is. It will take time. You must be patient. I'm also trying to solve that problem for over 10 years. Because of continuous effort, it is more and more easy than before to remove the idea of I from our mind is more and more easy than before. Now you must continue like this. Only by practice you you can find the answer of the problem. The problem is concerned with everyone. Lay people are not solving that problem. That's why if you deal with with them, you cannot find the answer. That's why you must deal with Buddha and his teaching. The more now you you participate to solve the problem, so also other people will also participate to solve the problem. In this way, uh, there will be more and more people who will cooperate to solve the problem, and in this way, there will not there will be more and more easy to find the answer. If most of the people are not interested to solve the problem. It is very difficult. At the pleasant time, more and more people are going to interest to meditate. That's why the understanding will be not much different if more and more people are using right understanding. It will not be difficult to use right understanding. Because if you are, if you alone are Practicing meditation, you must you must make against to to everyone 
accept you. If more and more people are involving in the practice, you have to make against less and less. Dhaba, Dhodas, and Mohas are attachment. Because of you are because you are practicing meditation, you you know about attachment. You know about your attachment. If you are not practicing meditation, you will not know about your attachment. Because you are knowing about your attachment, it is possible to detach to that attachment by using right understanding. You can detach to your attachment. There are also a lot of attachment. Whatever happen, whatever appear, to try not to forget right understanding. In this way, it will it will not appear again. If you use right understanding, it can solve the problem of attachment permanently. If you know. Your attachment, it is not, it is not good. But you must, you cannot avoid the situation. If you know there is no attachment in your mind, it is it is good. But knowing about your attachment is not good. But it is necessary to know. Only when you know, you you will you must try how to solve the problem. Now you are. You understand the disease. That's why you must find the medicine. If you can find the medicine, you can also help to other yogis also. The problems concern with everyone, not only meditator but also human in the society also. First, you must try. You must find your attachment. Then, you must try. To overcome from that situation, to be free from attachment, that is a real middle way. If we can use attachment, there will be power of detachment. If we cannot use attachment in the right way, there will not be the power of detachment. If you can change attachment from attachment to detachment. No need to. No need to afraid of attachment. If you cannot use attachment in the right way, you must be afraid of attachment. In fact, there is no I, no you, just attachment, just wrong understanding and attachment. If there is wrong understanding and attachment, I, I or you, male or female, all become alive. Created truth are alive because because there is wrong understanding. If there is no wrong understanding, created truths are to use only. You must control your your daily action also. We practice meditation for one hour, two hour, then uh, we take a rest, then we do. We may do our daily daily work. When we do our in our daily life, we we must try 
not to pay attention to the creator truth. The cause of that problem is because if we if we stop one practice and then we will take rest or we will eat food. In doing so, we pay attention to to the situation. We may we we may pay attention to the taste of the food or uh, we may we may have attachment to take a rest. That with me we accept attachment to happen. That's why when we start next uh next practice there there's problem because we accept wrong understanding we we accept wrong wrong understanding to happen and attachment to happen. That's why we must it is difficult to to make balance. That's why when only in daily life also we must try not to pay attention to to the food to taking rest whatever we do we must try to be able to do with right understanding that problems happen a lot in the beginning of my practice later i understand the answer is when we stop meditation we we lose our mind we lose our caution we stop mindfulness to the truth that that's why it is necessary not to forget right understanding in our daily life we must we must not obey our desire meditation is trying to be free from desire our in our daily life we are we are doing what we want to do we don't think we don't think about what we should do how we should do we don't think about what should do we think about what we want to do and what i used to do that 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 is the problem if you if we try not to forget right understanding in our daily life we can understand about our attachment when we do when we our attachment when we are using our life in this way we will not make unnecessary action with attachment we cannot understand what is necessary and what is not necessary what should do and what should not do if we try right understanding in our daily life we will understand what should do and what should not do what is necessary and what is not necessary in this way we will be able to abandon when we know we must try to abandon not to not to do unnecessary action which is also abandoning our own habits if we accept our habit which which is also we are accepting the idea of i or someone the more you you pay attention to right understanding you will you will understand meditation only is not enough you must also try not to do unnecessary action physical or and mental action most of what we are doing are not necessary to do because we used to do like this that's why we are doing because of doing what we used what we used to do we are accepting attachment to happen in this way you are asian you are asian will change you are understanding will change and and your life will also change most of the yogi tends if they meditate this way and
and if something strange happen, they think it is right, and they they think they they are they change their life, but it is wrong understanding. To change our life, we must change everything. Our understanding, our action. We must try to be able to do all good deeds, including meditation. We must also try to abandon all unnecessary physical or mental action. We must also take instead of taking care of our body, we must take care of our mind. Attachment is happen in the mind. That's why. Only when we pay attention to our mind, we will understand about attachment, and we can solve that problem. The all merits we have done till now. Be dedicated to all sentient beings. The all beings. Rejoice and share in our merits. Sadhu, sadhu.